Hi, good day everyone. Today we are going to see some of the non-routine problems that are not directly related to model methods, um, but still we will have to find a way to resolve these problems as well. So let's go straight to the problem. There are 45 questions in an exam. There are 45 questions in total in an exam. And for every correct answer, five marks is awarded and for every wrong answer three marks is detected. Melissa scored 185 marks. How many correct answers did she give? So let's highlight the important facts that are shown here. There are a total of 45 questions in an exam. So the total number of questions 45. Every correct answer receives five marks. So we know that if I've, if the student gets all the 45 questions correctly, then it should be the total marks obtained will be 45 times 5. And there is another drawback here. For every wrong answer, 3 marks is detected. So Melissa scored 185 marks. This is the total mark she has scored. And how many correct answers did she give? So we will use a table method basically to understand what's happening so first number of correct answers we are going to first assume that okay what could be the number of correct answers Melissa could have given let's take let's assume that she answered every question correctly so the total number of correct answers that you see here would be 45 and marks awarded for each question is 5, right? She's got 45 correct answers, which means 45 times 5 is 225. So she would have got the full marks, which is 225. And number of wrong answers. She's got all the 45 correct, so number of wrong answers is going to be 0. Normally, if you have a wrong answer, they're going to detect 3 marks. In this case, no wrong answers, so no marks detected. So the total marks obtained is what you have scored minus what has to be detected. In this case, the detected mark has to be 0, so you get 225 minus 0, which is 225. You get the full marks, right? Now let's assume that number of wrong answers is 1, meaning Melissa, the first case was Melissa got all the questions correctly, but now she has made one mistake. What happens because of this one mistake? That's what you're going to figure out. If she has made one mistake, that means the number of correct answers would go down by 1 and it will become 44. And for 44, She's going to get 5 marks for each of the 44 questions, so she gets 220. Now what happens to the one wrong answer? That will get a deduction of 3. That is, from her total marks, 3 marks will be deducted. That's because she made one mistake. So now, She's going to get 220 is what she was awarded. But because of that one mistake, she is going to lose 3 marks out of the total. So 220 minus 3 is 217. So just by looking at this, what we can conclude is for every mistake that Melissa makes, in the sense if she makes one mistake, how much marks will she lose? 225 minus 217 which is 8 so what we see from here or understand from here is that for every mistake that Melissa makes she's going to lose 8 marks so one wrong answer loses 8 marks two wrong answer she's going to lose 2 times 8 which is 16 marks so marks totally marks lost by Melissa. She, she could have, if she had done everything correctly, she could have got 
225 the full marks but she only scored 185 which means she lost 40 marks and we also know that for every mistake she loses 8 marks so number of mistakes is 40 divided by 8 that is total number of marks lost divided by the number of marks that is she's going to lose for every mistake so this will give you the total number of mistakes now the question says how many correct answers did she give so the mistakes is 5 and we know that the total number of questions is 45 so number of correct answers is 45 minus 5 which is 40 this can be done in a simpler manner we don't have to draw a table and go through this but going through this helps us understand why we are doing this yeah. I hope uh, this was clear if you have any questions doubts please do um, send in your comments and I'll do my best to clarify and have a great day thank you